My full name is Gerard de Beer, but I just go by de Beer. People do like to say, I brought the beer, and then people come back, and then they're like, where's the beer? It's like, oh, hello. Sorry for the disappointment, but I'm the beer. <laughs> At 6'7 and 314 pounds, Harad de Beer, the Arizona redshirt junior from South Africa, is built to compete. I did everything when I grew up. I did tennis, I did swimming, cricket, rugby. I, I tried everything. As a discus thrower, De Beer traveled the world, competing in international track competitions for South Africa. The track, any school in the country would have rolled out the red carpet for him. The big thing was he wanted to go to the United States and be a successful football player as well. Of course, there was one small problem with that plan. Football being played was on Madden on the PlayStation. <laughs> I asked him how, you know, what was your football background, and I think he said he played Madden football once or twice. But he did not touch a football, put on a helmet, know what a pad was until he arrived at his first day in the locker room. Holding the pads like this, and I said, which, which side goes on the front? He thought I was being funny. He had to really learn how to tie his shoes, put his pads on, put the jersey on, helmet on. From the starting point, he was starting probably below zero. <laughs> <laughs> the expression curiosity killed the cat everybody says that expression but nobody finishes it curiosity killed the cat but satisfaction brought it back to life i was always curious as to how the game works it's not just quarterback get ball throw ball it is so much more complex than that i've mean, seen him day in and day out you know grinding and really trying to like learn the game and he's inside the film room meeting with coaches we started him out as a defensive lineman at first and then uh, moved him to tight end and tried him as a punter a little bit. That's when I switched over to O-line about four or five games into the season and I've been there ever since. You have a six foot seven monster that can move the way he can move. He's an asset wherever you, you want him, it's just a matter of time, I think, before you, you find his, uh, his spot and his niche in the, in the football world. It seems like they found it. As time went on, geez, I see his development in the game. Man, it's, it's, it's amazing how far he, he's come. The work ethic, the determination, the want to, the grind. The way he works, the way he's progressed, and I think he's got a great future. For the most part, all the goals that I've set for myself, I have mostly reached. But when it came to a new challenge, can I take a sport that I know absolutely nothing about and build it up to be something incredible? That's the ultimate goal. People say life is too short to take it seriously. I say life is too short in order to just breeze through it. Leave your footprint to make sure somebody remembers you for something.